All right, working with white balance. White balance, if you Google it, it's um, adjustment of environment colorization. So with uh, different lighting setups, lighting situations, uh, if, if it's cloudy, if it's a uh, bright day, you will have different modes in your camera. Same way you need to adjust your camera in V-Ray. So let's just take a look. This is a good example. The bluish image is without the white balance because um, we're getting a lot of tint from the blue sky and naturally if our white balance set up to neutral or pure white we're going to pick up a lot of blue colors but after adjusting it and setting up our white balance to be bluish as this one you can see the change in the phot on, uh, photography and you can change in colors and everything became natural so there's a bunch of uh, different examples with and without white balance let's go to our max here what I like to do I do the same thing that photographers do they took a probe from a white sphere so I'm gonna make a sphere and I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it this pure gray material and I'm gonna render it but before I render it I want to show you the white balance of that camera so by default it's gonna be neutral white let's have a quick render and see how the colors work All right, and the render is done. Now we can go and check our white balance, switch it to custom, click on the color, and with the probe, we can start taking probes and see what's color being presented here. So we see a lot of blues. We're getting the same effect as we got, as we saw on uh, the Google search for the white balance. Same thing. It's got a lot of those bluish tint to it. Now, how can we fix it? We need to take that color, take a sample. Let's find a good spot to take a sample from somewhere in the middle here. And then just because we're using gray we need to go slightly up somewhere here and slightly lighter because the color of our illumination in general lighter if we take a probe to very dark color then we might get very saturated dark results so somewhere here pretty light like that i think this is more or less matching the overall whites that are getting this bluish now i'm gonna take a region here and render half of that region in order to compare okay so the test render with the new white balance was done let me just remove the line so we could see let's zoom in and we can see that earlier it was with that bluish tint and now we're getting more natural colors to our whites you can see that on the chair and we clearly can see it on the floor that this floor on the right is way way more blue than this one we actually start to get the yellow reflection properly same goes with our vegetation and trees and of course the back wall also starts to get a little bit yellowish and less bluish uh, this effect happens because a lot of bluish color comes from the sky and it bounces and reflects in our scene so use white balance wisely in order to fix your colorization and bring natural colors back to your render okay i hope you enjoyed this trick see you in the next video